say you've long wanted to box called Anderson Silva. Mm -hmm. He's now out of the UFC, he's a free agent. Is that something you would be interested in? If this goes well tonight, I'm almost positive that will probably be the next thing we do because he's been wanting it, I've been wanting it, so this got to go great first. Good luck tomorrow night. Thank you. What's good, YouTube? Fight fans all over the world. It's your boy, Real Talk Boxing. And we putting in work tonight. We putting in major work tonight. Okay. Uh, as you just saw, Roy Jones Jr. said, should I look good in this fight? Definitely the next fight that's going to happen is against none other than Anderson Silva. Now, you know, they tried to meet years ago. Years ago. Um, Dana White wasn't having it, though. You know, uh, Anderson Silva was under Dana White, contracted to Dana White. Dana White was his boss, and Dana White was like, no way in the world I'm going to let you get in the boxing ring with Roy Jones Jr. He just did not want to see it go down. And, you know, I, I really can't blame Dana White for doing that because at that time, I believe Anderson Silva would have got his lunch money took. But make no mis mistake about this. Uh, as a mixed martial artist, Anderson Silva has hands. You understand me? Hands. I think him and Uriah Faber have some of the best hands as mixed martial artists. And I don't cover UFC, and I'm not too much into mixed martial arts, but, you know, to say you don't know Anderson Silva is to say you don't know freaking Chuck Liddell or Tito Ortiz or Couture or the Gracies. Um, he's a legend. I believe he is a multiple division champion. I've seen Anderson Silva play with people in the octagon and knock them out with, like, a lazy punch. But, you know, somewhere along the line, time caught up with him, and he kept fighting, so he eventually lost. It's what happens. It's what happens. Uh, so at this point in time, you know, at Roy Jones' age and at Anderson Silva's age, I, I think he stands a, a, a good chance. You know, at uh, Roy Jones in an exhibition bout, because that's probably what it's going to be. I would like it for it tonight to be an exhibition bout, and so would Roy Jones. But I think it's very intriguing. I think it's a good matchup between the two. Uh, it's a shame that we didn't get to see them fight at younger ages. Uh, but, you know, maybe it just wasn't the right time. But Roy Jones stated, depending on how I looked in this fight against Mike, you know, if I look good, we'll make this fight happen with Anderson Silva. And I can guarantee you Anderson Silva is not going to turn it down because he's not with the UFC anymore. He's not with Dana White anymore. So he can do what he wants to do. And listen to this, man. A lot of people are not down with this Legends Only League, man. This hybrid, you know, type, you know, amateur, professional, exhibition type boxing. I love it. I think it gives an opportunity to gain new fans, new boxing fans from other sports like UFC. And like Jake Paul said, he was like, man, I want to bring UFC fighters over and start fighting them just so they can say that I'm not fighting actual fighters. You're fighting YouTubers. You're fighting basketball players. You need to fight actual fighters. So I can pretty much guarantee you the next card that Thriller puts on is going to be a whole bunch of mixed martial arts fighters getting into that boxing ring and gloving up, strapping up. And I, for one, have no problem with that. I love unique. I love different. I love outside the box. So bring it on. If you're a fighter, you're a fighter. And if there's UFC fighters or mixed martial artists that are willing and brave enough to step into the boxing ring, you got my respect. I salute you right off the top, man. This is the type of stuff that we need because it's different. It, it it ain't about what fighting background you know you're you're from. It ain't about your age or who what your name is or what experience you have. It's about putting these guys on a platform to showcase their talent when they wouldn't have any other chance to be on a big you know platform like this. And I think it gives a great opportunity to to, to lesser name fighters, whether it be boxers, YouTubers, mixed martial artists, UFC fighters, whoever the case may be. It's a great opportunity for these people, and people can't see that all they see is all oh, well this is the professional boxing all oh, well, this fighter's fighting this fighter he shouldn't be fighting this fight this and yada 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 whatever man is fighting and it's helping these people out it's putting food on the table for their family and it's giving us entertainment and i for one would love the opportunity to do something like this i didn't said it before 
I would love it. I would relish that opportunity. So I'm almost a little envious. I'm happy for these guys, but I'm a little bit envious that they're getting to do this stuff at whatever age they want to do it at. I think it's a blessing, and I think it would be totally fun. And I, for one, support it. So I'm hoping Roy Jones does good in this match tomorrow night. I will be watching it. As a matter of fact, I'm going to try to do a live stream during uh, the Jake Paul, Nate Robinson fight. I'm going to try to start it there, and I'm going to try to do one. It depends on how, you know, the Jake Paul fight goes, because I haven't never done a live stream. I'm hoping I can get everything right. I'm going to try my best to pay attention to the comments if I even get anyone who's want to jump in on it. If you guys want to, you know, jump in on it and support me, man, I would be honored. Uh, I'm going to try to be commentating the fight, and I'll probably have my wife here on the computer, you know, um, reading off comments to people if they're shout, you know, wanting a shout out or, or wanting to ask me questions or whatever. But I can tell y'all right now, I'm going to be amped. I'm going to be hyped. I'm going to be loud because that's how I am when I'm watching fights that I'm, I'm anticipating to see. You know what I'm saying? So I'm going to be doing a live stream tomorrow and I'm going to start it out with the Jake Paul, Nate Robinson fight. I'm going to commentate that fight and try to answer you guys questions. My first live stream ever. I hope it goes well. And if you guys want to tune in, if you don't have the fight yourself, you can watch me come and take the fight live, not recorded, and then upload it. I'm talking about live, all right? So, but y'all bear with me because it's going to be my first time. But what do you think about Roy Jones stating the fact that if he does good against Mike Tyson, and I'm taking that as win, lose, or draw, he wants to set up a fight with Anderson Silva. And do you think Anderson Silva will accept that? I most certainly do, but never mind my opinion, what's yours? Leave a comment below, Real Talk Boxing, we putting in work, baby, we putting in work, and i see you guys tomorrow, Lord willing, at that live stream. Check me out, support your boy. Respect all, fear none, God bless, Real Talk Boxing, baby, we out.